happened in Germany just before Hitler took control, where you have the left wing and the right wing, and virtually no one who is stable, uh, Bible-believing Christian who is oriented in submission to the word of the Lord, like the entire society was to a large extent back in those days. Now we've got the left wing pushing us towards socialism with our government. We've got the right wing radicals. But where we have to be is right there with the Word of God, mainline Adventism, right there with the Word of God in submission to Jesus in the everlasting gospel. Well, Bob, it's so plain that this is the, the beginning of sorrows, and we have to strengthen each other and stand together as historic Adventists. And we are mainstream Adventists. This is the mainstream Adventism. Mainstream does not mean the majority. Right. Mainstream means our historic Adventist beliefs. And I tell you, as we realize how things are shaping up so quickly, we as historic Adventists are beginning to see just how the devil is manipulating society and the corporate structure to put us in to a, a, uh, a persecuted uh, environment to where people will come against us thinking that they are doing God's service by doing away and with And this us. has happened to Adventists all over. We yes. have had loads of reports of people saying, you know, uh, this thing has actually backfired against the general content, yes. you know, to a large degree. And yet, John, if there were, if there are indeed Jesuits functioning there, we're seeing the evidence of Jesuit that, infiltration. We're sure seeing the, the of, evidence of it. Of their thought patterns and, and philosophies, and that's what we've been discussing. But Je actual Jesuit infiltrators would be happy to have the name smeared of the, of the institution they're trying to destroy. And they can kill two birds with one stone, try to liken the independence to to Koresh and also smear the general name of Seventh-day Adventism. Tell me how the ATF plays in all this, Bob. You know, this is part of the war on drugs. It is very interesting that 60 Minutes put out a documentary on the ATF for about 20 minutes of one of their 60 Minutes programs, and they showed a dear old couple. They could The couple could hardly tell of the experience. They were still so shaken. And they lived way out in the country. They had a lovely ranch home there. They had a friendly dog. But one night, there were eight burly men that came and started beating the door down. And they demanded that the door be opened. And this man said, I'm not going to open the door. I don't know who you are. And, and Isn't so that they, what, you, what you would do? So they smashed the door down. They grabbed the man. And they smashed down other, other, another door at the place. They grabbed the man, tied him up, threw him in a room, threw his wife in another room ransacked the house, searched it through and through, and didn't find a thing. And they showed another man who had, in the middle of the night, they were shoot, They even shot through his front door. Innocent, innocent case. The man's uh, shoulder has is, is, uh, been largely wrecked for the rest of his life, and he's suing the government now. And they showed case after case. And what is happening, John, is a very interesting thing because ATF is using drug tip-off men yeah. who are criminals themselves. Taking their word against... And they are given immunity in yeah. return for working with them, and they are deeply into drugs themselves. It, uh, 60 Minutes said they don't know how many millions. They said it could be going to infinity, the amount of corruption that is actually being carried on by these informants themselves, and the informants will give bad tips, and then innocent people will be attacked in the middle of the night. And our constitutional freedoms are being rapidly erased by the war on drugs. What about Shirley Burton or any other spokesman for the General Conference or for any local conference calling and telling law enforcement, ATF, about these independent ministries, about these cults that are out there, and they're worse than David Korsh. And of course, that's what they're saying. I have several letters that say that we're worse. They're already than, saying that. Yeah, they're Absolutely. We're, you know, and tipping off law enforcement. And that's why it says, where is it, in Spalding McGann Collection, uh, page 5, I believe it is, where Mrs. White tells us that our own people will sell us out to the Catholics. Our own brothers will be our, our own persecutors. Brothers. And, and now the people who are passing out great controversy are made out to be more dangerous people than David yes. Koresh by our structure. Yes. This is amazing. But we need to have great calm and peace in the Lord. Jesus himself Amen. was maligned. They, they said he was demon-possessed. He was possessed of the prince of demons. They said he's a demoniac. Why do you listen to him? And so Jesus has been through all of this. He's acquainted with everything that troubles and annoys and is misrepresented on the part of the devil's agents. He's been through it all. And uh, 
we can safely follow him through this whole holocaust that is developing at the end of time. Well, folks, we've got to read and study like we've never read and studied before. We have got to press together like we have never pressed together Amen. before. And I tell you, we don't need people behind us. We need people with us, shoulder to shoulder, Amen. standing together in these trying hours of Earth's history. Pray for us at Prophecy Countdown. Pray for them at Biblical Studies Institute. Pray for them at Steps to Life. Those of us that are endeavoring to stand firm for the truth, our supporters, you dear people. Bob, thanks so much for being on Thank this video you, with us. Thanks so much for Jesuit Agenda 4. Thanks so much for this camp meeting. Thanks so much for standing for the truth. I love you. We and, love you uh, too, John. And it's been wonderful working with you. Thank you, Bob. Can't wait to get this uh, video taped out to our people. They're waiting for it. They need right. to be strengthened by it. Right. Thank you. And may God, God bless, bless you. you. Well, Bob, we don't know how many of these Jesuit Agenda videos we're going to have, whether it's going to even be a Jesuit Agenda 5, but uh, we're glad that you're here. Good and to be glad here, that John. you shared with our Adventist people what you did, did today. Until next time, Adventist friends, may God bless you.